Well, <clears throat> let's have the with the uh, Lumis method, the Henry, uh, Lenny Henry, um, Lenny Henry's portrait. The Lumis method. Let's apply the Lumis method on Lenny Henry's portrait. Circular, uh, a circle, and inside the circle you have the side plane. And with the side plane you have the uh, cross um, middle of the oval. That's the circle. Well done. I'm getting it wrong, the circle again. All right, that will be the eyebrow line. Lower than that will be the eye line. End of the circle will be the nose, roughly. These are rough estimates. At the end of that, of that oval will be the hairline. Nose, nose, and then bring those two halves, those, uh, well, the distance between the eyebrow to the forehead, a uh, hairline, eyebrow to the nose, nose to the chin. So somehow, or approximately, that would be the jawline. Then you have the jaw coming this way, connect those the end of the circle, I think the circle will be better here, yeah, there, a bit bigger, circle, so edge of the circle connected down to the chin, to the chin, jaw line, here we are, and also, also now inside those circles and those Lines are going to develop the eyes, so the eyes are somewhere here, uh, roughly speaking. Uh, frames, uh, glass, uh, well, spec speckles. Speckles are here, here, here. Head, now the head. On any portrait, you have the head, which the skull, which uh, gets moved or pushed forward that way so inside the circle you've got this line which is the skull hairline darker for the hair hairline somewhere here uh, here which exceeds the skull end of the ear neck, jaw, eye, eyebrow, speckles frame, eye, his left eye, uh, slightly lower, slightly lower, so it's correct, slightly lower, it is right. It will be uh, eyebrow line. And then you have the nose, which is right under the eye. The nose is here. That line is for the nose, the end of the oval uh, side plane, the end of the line. That will give you the nose, roughly again, roughly. It's not it's estimates. We have a nose here. Then the mouth is again approximately end of the nose and the chin, the middle of from the end of the nose, root of the nose to the chin, and that's the end. So the middle of end of the nose sorry jaw here you've got the jaw jaw line that's somewhere here is the end of his lower lip so the upper lip is actually there and then you've got the goatee and that line obviously we can adjust now so instead of we had that line from the circle moving down, 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 and connected to it to the cheek, um, 
to me with the chin. Then you have the more rounded sun. That was my initial line, that was approximate. I can now adjust those lines to the specifics of each portrait. So from a generic start, mechanical or generic start, then I can adjust to the to the specific of of each uh, each individual. Now, I think the nose is a bit too low. I think I have I should have brought the nose a bit further up because I can see the speckles are, well, the frame of speckles is quite close to the nose here. So move that up, slightly up, move that nose up, speckles moving, moving speckles down. I possibly needs to go a little bit uh, bigger or not wider, possibly not, no, no, no. Uh, it's somewhere, now it's basically just adjusting things as we're going along. Eyebrow, you go. The head a little bit further up, moved back, if the skull moves back and culminates here. Um, And go here, look at the jaw, and all this area, my dust, and create that darker side of his face, which is obviously the shadow of all the stubble. Sorry, the stubble. You got stubble, you got beard here, and the speckles is quite big there, so I should make it a bit smaller. And actually a little bit more forehead so that would be his uh, eyebrow actually eyebrow the other eyebrow the, uh, the eye is quite big here as in wide and should be a bit smaller most likely because of the speckles looks a lot smaller and decrease the size of the eye uh, here, moving down, uh, above the upper lip, the end of the ear is above the upper lip, here, shadow under his neck, Expand a little bit the left hand side here. Uh, extend the darks, the lines, the shadows, middle tones on the face, speckle frame here, speckle frame. Uh, and the eyebrow is lower, frames down here, there, shadow that, shadow under the um, frame, nostril here, and obviously we can of those lines now, of the circle, the initial circle, we don't need that anymore. These are darker. We have the jawline, so the chin, chin down here, jawline up there, and a little bit wider here on the face. Then you've got this, right, this jacket. Yeah, those lines are not defined. Actually, the darkest or the most defined line is this goatee here. We have from uh, nostril, 
coming down, we've got the nostril here, and then you hear that jaw or the um, or the goti aki right up there and it defines the upper lip. It defines the upper lip too. Um, middle middle of the lips here. And um, lower lip. Middle of the goatee. the tip of the nose here but because they do get closer to each other together uh, here that V shape but then I'm, I'm, I'm far away with the eye so probably I need to move the eye further to the left right here horizontal line horizontal line here Okay, that is coming back to the skull, moving even more onto that direction, onto the right, here, coming back with the forehead, hairline, moving the skull back a little bit more. Get on this uh, particular shape of the skull. We have the nose, which is the, um, um, the chin here, which comes inwards a little bit more. Um, white hair, gray hair. Um, coming also trimming his forehead inwards here and then you have eye under the bag uh, sorry the bag under the eye sorry um, bit of white of the eye upper eyelid white of the eye this side too, um, the eye upper eyelid moves down, the eye also a bit lower, We have eyebrow lower, the eyebrow lower to the um, speckles frame. Um, the also the nose comes back a little bit more, as in moves that way, and the frame here. Uh, let me find out where these you need to move your nose further to the left here.
in both the eye on that side and that eye upper eyelid which is slightly lower slightly lower than that eye so down here And then in between, in, we have a shadow here, which I think is important to put it on now. Make the forehead here. Let's see, pushed back, and that creates the impression of or well, you have the highlight here the light and then as it moves back it gets darker gradually it gets darker the skin tone and the shadow then you have the ear getting back here um, Highlight on the cartilage you see, lighter, lighter. Ear lobe. It's right on this uh, goatee here. So, and then a little bit further or thicker neck. Out of the job. Neck here. Upper lip. Nose comes a little bit more to the left, pushing the nose a little bit more to the left here. Together with the nostril. And then Around the upper lip, that defines the upper lip. Well, I'll fix this a little bit more. Um, white of the eye, a little bit more visible here. Get the shine of the eye. Party rubber, by the way, what I'm using is party rubber. Okay, shape of the skull. It peaks up right here. It's thinner there. You got that shiny bit which enters or, the, or cuts the line here, which basically it doesn't actually cut the line, but I'm using it as a tool so I don't have to come round with a line and define the scarf. That's good enough. It doesn't have to be a line all the way through. Uh, 
Und uh, darker, darker value on the side of the head. Charcoal, or a thin and long charcoal, basically. And I will need a little bit of sandpaper. which is right in between the nose and the goatee. Okay, now the neck. Neck is right. The line of the neck is right there, which is actually where his shirt starts turning around here and gives you that the line here of the shirt. Okay, we have the neck here is the shadow of his Shut off his head onto the neck. Now you've got the neck here. And a bit more of sharp uh, the charcoal, sharp edge. On the charcoal to work on a little bit more details of his on his eyes. frame a bit more soft in the eyebrow side of the nose A little bit exceeding that cheeky. We have a different texture of this goatee here. So that it's not a line, it's a broken line, not a line like that. Cheek line, <clears throat> that's more of a broken line here. Obviously, you've got the texture of this goatee, that's why. And then lower lip. Upper lip. A bit softer onto the left hand side of the upper lip. There, lower lip here. And 
some dark atomic body on his jaw and stubble here coming all across there dark atomic body under speckles okay he looks kind of younger here on me might be wrong but he looks a bit younger Highlight on the upper eyelid. darker Kind of a grey hair coming through. defines the goatee. Why not stay here? Stay here, you're not going anywhere. Stay here, good boy. And the end of the mouth. Mm. lighter and also lighter tonal value here because I think I went too dark too soon a bit lighter there also Because I think I extended too much the eye, so just work on the eye there. Contain it. Wide uh, goatee, upper moustache. More dense and wide as well. That's more like him. And a little bit more of define the upper upper lip here. I don't know. Sit, sit, don't sit, sit. 
Thinner but thinner, I'm just making it thin, the upper lip. But it's not as bright as that, so give it a softer tonal value on the top. That defines the jaw a little bit more, so darker wrinkles under the neck okay um. and then you have the low uh, so the lobe right in between the hairline and the sorry under the moustache area okay then getting deep getting deep eye a little bit more stretched here getting speckle a little bit closer to the eye and the design of the, uh, the the movement of the upper eyelid and the elongated part of the eye, elongated side of the eye. Then you have tear duct. Speckles here, a little bit more attention to the speckles here, a little slightly darker shadow. Here, under the speckles. The, the, the mouth is quite sharp on me, so I, I will try and soften the edges a little bit more. 